here are a few of the seasonings that I will be using along with some chopped onions. I'm going to go ahead and chop some bell peppers as well. One of my favorite cooking bases. so well and infused within our oxtails. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of coordinate, not the whole, not the whole uh, bottle, but just a little bit, okay? So I went ahead and completed this by adding three bottles of water, three full bottles of water, so that way we have enough to cover our oxtails and it can evenly distribute the cooking, okay? So that's what we have right now. You're gonna go ahead and leave this on high on your slow cooker and cook for about five. 
five hours, making sure to stir your oxtails uh, during the halfway point, okay? And we're just gonna make sure that we have some tender, well-seasoned oxtails. Sometimes people usually put in half a stick or a full stick of butter, but right now I'm not gonna put the butter in. I'm gonna see how everything's looking during the halfway point and uh, go from there. All right, be right back. Everybody, we are at the halfway point. So I'll just stir this around a little bit. This smells so good. And the flavors. So I went ahead and put it in a baking pan. This is the one I chose for now. But yeah, I put all my oxtails in there and then I made sure to do a light season on top. And then I put some of the broth that, that's right there, just poured it up in there so that it does not dry out in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this for 400 degrees um, between 10 and 15 minutes. And then I'll be right back. Here we go. We have our finished oxtails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See all the seasoning really cooked in really, really well. So we should have some tender bites. All right, make sure you like and subscribe for more of the 